Let's look at some other useful features of the EFI diagnostic software. The fourth control panel function is the data trigger screen. This data item shows the trigger setup for the throttle position sensor. You can use the data trigger function to capture events that are specific to a data item or trouble code. Check the user manual or help file for detailed instructions. The next function on the main control panel is the special test button. The special test menu displays the available tests or procedures. Here we see options for our example engine, the ECH ECV 630 to 749. The first option, Diagnostic Procedures, gives you an easy way to look up trouble code information or run the guided diagnostic procedures. This screen lets you select either the circuit check or a specific trouble code from the list. Select a code and click the green arrow or double click on the code. The other options, the Feature Configuration Registration, shows the software license ID number. Now, we'll look at the Customer Vehicle Information screen. This screen lets you enter information about the vehicle and owner and print it for your customer files. To capture the information, print the screen, otherwise the information will disappear. The next function is the System Configuration screen. The configuration screen is used to set the units of measure, workshop information, and communication port or COM port settings. Find more information on this in the user manual or help menu. Here's the print button to use when printing reports. This is the service manual icon. The service manual is a browser that gives you access to the appropriate Kohler factory service manuals. This is the Units Selection button. Use it to select your units of measure for engine temp and pressure. This is the System Help button. It contains the most complete and updated information on the EFI diagnostic software. You can search by topic or use the search bar. System Help is automatically updated whenever there are software updates. The Engine Vehicle Selection button opens the list of engines you can diagnose with this software. Remember, choose the proper engine to be sure the proper diagnostic information is displayed. The last button is the exit button. It closes the diagnostic system and shuts down communication to the vehicle. That wraps up our overview on getting to know the EFI diagnostic software. Check your user manual for more in-depth instructions.